If you've been using the Sony ZV-1 as a USB webcam, then you will know that you don't get any audio via USB. And you know you get an okay resolution that's usable, but it's not even something like 720p. That is until now, because in the next couple of minutes, I'm gonna show you how you can get audio via USB when you're using this as a webcam, as well as 720p video. This is a game changer for the Sony ZV-1 and if you use it as a webcam, this will blow your mind. Let's get into it. My name is Vic Barry and for tips, techniques and thoughts on making videos, then please hit subscribe, especially if you find this video useful. I love the Sony ZV-1. I nearly smashed the screen. I love the Sony ZV-1. It's a great camera and by all accounts you guys are really liking it too except when it comes to this whole streaming thing. Whether you're doing work from home video calls, whether you're doing some game streaming, some any kind of live streaming at all, there's a problem if you're not using a capture card. That is, as I said at the top of the video, you get no audio versus USB. You get very good video quality but it's not even close to something like 720p. So all that's going to change in a firmware update that I'm going to show you how to do. But there's one little thing that's stumping me and it's going to stump everybody as well but I've got the fix for that and it's only a button press but it's probably the most important button press you're going to do when it comes to streaming. So firstly bounce to Sony's website. I've got a link in the description where you can get the Sony ZV-1 firmware. This is an updater and here's the thing you no longer have to use the Imaging Edge app to get this going in any software. It's just going to show up as the Sony ZV-1. Don't get me wrong, that Imaging Edge app has its uses, right? It's got its uses, yeah? Anyway, you, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Download the firmware, follow the steps in the updater. It's really, really easy. It takes a couple of minutes to do it. Make sure you've got enough battery in the camera. A fully charged battery is the best way to do it. So it doesn't die or anything weird, bad, evil. And that's kind of it. Now here's the thing, right? Here is the thing. There is a button. There is a menu option that you have to enable before you stream. And I know some people are going to go, I can't just plug in the camera and go. You can plug in the camera and go, but you need to enable USB streaming. It's on the movie menu. So that's the second menu options, page four. Set up movie four. That's it. USB streaming. Make sure that's on. And then stream your... Now, just because it's been hit and miss with software, I've tried this on Zoom. Works, zero problems on Zoom. It's there, it's Sony ZV-1, go for it. I've done some local testing and recording on OBS. This is a screen capture. Now let's jump to the actual OBS recording. So we should be hearing the audio because I'm seeing the audio up here. OBS is working. This is a game changer for the Sony ZV-1. It is no longer clunky to get in some amazing video calls. Audio is bad because I had the levels down on the camera because I was using another mic a couple of days ago. But you get the idea, right? It just works without issue. So you can download it for PC or for Mac. Now I said without issue, but there is still one problem when it comes to the Sony ZV-1 and the streaming, and that is power. Now, I have stopped answering this in the comments. Don't take it the wrong way, but I spent half of my time answering comments about streaming and continuous power on the Sony ZV-1. I tried it first, it worked for a couple of hours. I've done countless calls where it has worked for like two, three hours at a go. Recently, I'm getting an hour. I'm not sure what's going on. It's to do with your computer, it's to do with the power, it's to do with everything. So. Is there a solution for this? If you want to do some really long streams, yes, there is a solution to this. And in the next few videos, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. So make sure you hit subscribe around here. And in the meantime, while you're waiting for that video, check out this video if you want to up your game hugely on the Sony ZV-1. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, don't stop fighting for yourself. Poof. Does this mean now we can go back streaming? That, that Fortnite thing with Ninja? He still plays Fortnite, right?